Choosing just one instrument is like choosing one food to eat for the rest of your days. It makes life really, really boring. Like many musicians, I play multiple instruments. Trumpet, piano, and viola, just to name a few. It's not just a party trick or a quirky fact about me. It's something that has substance and has made a difference in the quality of my life. In this video, we're gonna talk about how playing multiple instruments has made my life better. Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Alicia Ann. I play a zillion instruments. And I know I'm not the only one either. I'm sure many of you watching play lots of instruments. Playing a bunch of instruments has brought so much joy to my life. From the time I was five years old, I picked up the viola and never looked back. Over time, I added more instruments, not for any reason other than I just loved it so much. In hindsight, I can see a lot more of the good that it's done for my development as a person. And today I wanna to talk about a few of the ways that it's given me a leg up in the world. My different brains. Playing multiple instruments has given me different vantage points. I'm not just talking about reading multiple clefs or understanding the mechanics of different instruments or practical things like that. I'm talking about the deeper stuff too. A slur mark on a piano means something different than on trumpet, which means something different on violin or viola. You process it differently even though it looks the same on paper and it technically has the same definition. I've come to describe these as my different brains. Each instrument that I play requires me to process the information in a different way. Each instrument also has different demands, which requires me to focus more of my attention on different aspects. And this is what has made me a really well-rounded musician. For example, when I'm playing viola, a lot of my brain power is spent on intonation. Whereas when I'm playing piano, I don't think about intonation at all. However, I'm processing way more notes with my two little hands and, and understanding how the notes fit together. Shifting to my trumpet brain, I literally only think about one note at a time, but the speed of my air and where I choose to breathe matters so much more than when I'm playing piano. I mean, I could go on and on with this, but I think you get the idea. The different demands of each instrument has called my attention to the different aspects that are the sum of what makes a good musician. The layer beyond this is, it's not just that I can put on different hats or switch brains or switch modes and think about different things in isolation. All these quote unquote different brains make up one brain, Alicia's brain. All these different perspectives and angles to pull from and choose from are what makes me a better teacher, a better director, and a better composer. My mental health. Playing multiple instruments has helped my mental health in so many different ways. The first and most straightforward way is the reason that everyone picks up different hobbies. It's given me multiple ways of expressing emotions that I need to get out. When you're majoring in music at university or when you're devoting your life to a craft, it sort of becomes your job. And no matter how much you try to stay connected with the passion and the love of what you're doing, your relationship with it has changed because you can't just do it for the love anymore. It's also your livelihood. Inevitably, the going got tough. It wasn't always sunshine and rainbows as I pursued my degree. And there were times when I fell out of love with my primary instrument. What kept me going and helped me push through was having all these other instruments that I can pour myself into and not have to worry about a grade or my self-worth. It wasn't an indication of my talent or success. It was just there for me to love it. And like, that's what a hobby is. Like that's why you're supposed to do it. So while I was getting torn apart on my main instrument, feeling like I'm not good enough, not worthy of my degree, never gonna amount to anything, I could turn to something that had nothing to do with any of that and it restored my soul. It was powerful and it was a key part in how I kept up and didn't give up with pursuing my degree when the perfectionist in me wanted to. Now, this also opens up a whole other issue about placing my self-worth on my abilities as a musician, which is not healthy, but if I'm being vulnerable here, like that's exactly what happened. And it didn't fix itself by me saying like, hey, don't think like that doesn't help anyone. The last thing I wanted to mention here is empathy and relating to others. There's a real problem in our society about having this lack of not being able to see eye to eye with someone who is different than you. We tend to close our hearts and not hear them out and not even listen to what they're trying to tell us. The answer to this problem is just 
everyone needs to play more instruments. No, I'm just kidding. But we do need to talk about this because it's a real issue. And this kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier with like the different brains that I have. Knowing how other people who play similar instruments to me process information, it gives me the tiniest peek into their brain and how they process things. In some instances, it has helped me follow their line of thought and understand where they're coming from. On a less deep level, it also allows me to use analogies that I know that they would relate to better, or even just the conversation starter, like, oh, I play that instrument too. Or like, oh, you play violin, I play viola. Like, that's awesome. Go us. We're friends now. Since I have a toe and like Almost every category of music, I have, you know, brass, piano, strings. I don't have woodwinds, they're beyond me. But I can usually find some common ground with people because of what I play. This also opens up a broader conversation about um, when I'm teaching music lessons, my philosophy is that I'm teaching the whole person. I'm not teaching an instrument. But anyway, I hope something in this video was helpful. I feel like it's kind of been all over the place. But yeah, so thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.